welcome back or if you're new here well hello i'm penny and this is flynn the cockatiel and today we are building in the brand new world of tartosa and tartosa came with the my wedding stories pack and i was really hoping we were gonna get some lots that featured certain things and we did not so that is what i'm doing today i am going to build a cake shop a floral shop and a dress shop they also do have an apartment above which will not be furnished if you want to see this apartment furnished in the future let me know in the comments and we can always come back to that in a future build for now it will be left kind of empty it would be like you're moving into an apartment in real life and you guys can furnish it how you like or like i said in another video we can furnish that but in the meantime <laughs> the world of tartosa oh so this world is super pretty and the my wedding stories pack has been unfortunately extremely buggy i did not buy it for my last build thank goodness because i don't know if i would have been able to have my wedding in that game so i waited but I am not a player of the game much, I just build, so I do not know what the bugs are life like. I've only heard certain things, and unfortunately for me, I can't tell you if those are true, because so far I've only, I've only been building with this pack. Although, have any of you been having this issue in my last, yeah, in my last video, I had caterers at the wedding, you can go back and watch this video if you want. The caterers would not stop making white cakes. <laughs> what the heck? Come on. There was like cakes all over the kitchen and then there was like unfinished cakes and eggs and bowls everywhere. Is anyone else having this issue? Oh my gosh. I never remember that happening before. When did that start happening? Yeah, so that was weird. <laughs> But right now we're in the cake shop and I decided, I, I was back and forth. Do I do like a small town, tiny cake shop? And I'm like, you know what? No, this world is supposed to be known for like the wedding destination. So I'm like, I'm going all out. <laughs> we're having this crazy expensive looking cake shop. And I felt like that's all this place is gonna sell is cake. <laughs> cake and maybe some cupcakes like we got this um cupcake cake display which oh my gosh is so cute and actually to access all these cakes i had to use a mod which when you download this lot it won't be included but made my life a lot easier i will link that mod down below um a couple of really really good ones if you do like to build or you're just frustrated trying to find stuff normally your sims would have to make all these cakes this saved me so much time because I had my sims <laughs> cook all the meals for the last video because the stupid caterers weren't doing anything. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a disaster. But yes, this is a fancy place. You will not see in the speed build, but you'll see in the pictures. I have a little kitchen in the back and a walk-in freezer so you can keep all your cakes fresh <laughs> and if you want to use this as a retail lot then you can cook all the cakes back there obviously you can expand it to be like just bakery but yes yeah, so unfortunately with this pack we have a rabbit hole place where you can go and get wedding cakes i know yeah yeah it's super disappointing i oh, i just i thought there would be more stuff yeah, more stuff too. Yes, thanks, Flynn. <laughs> Feathers. <laughs> I thought there'd be more stuff to be able to build like a cake shop and there wasn't. So obviously with Get to Work, this is possible having the retail lot. I don't know, it was, it was fun. There wasn't really a whole lot from the pack that I used minus I think basically the cakes and that was it and maybe some flowers so slightly disappointing but we're on to the floral shop now and i think all or like 95 percent of all the flowers i use in here are from the new pack and i will say okay we'll address this the world 
is extremely beautiful. And honestly, that's why I bought this pack, knowing there was a lot of bugs. I wanted the world, especially because we have the series of Escape and we need new places to go all the time. <laughs> so I really wanted to get this for the world. Build and buy is disappointing from a builder standpoint. So I'll just say, I'm not gonna address this from a gameplay standpoint because I really don't play the game. From a builder standpoint, build and buy, eh, extremely disappointing. The flowers are beautiful though. I will say all the flowers, the debug flowers, the ones that you would use for bouquets, which that's what these are going in here right now. These would be your bouquets that you would take down the aisle. There's like a couple floral arrangements that are in Build and Buy catalog and they are actually really beautiful. I am super, super impressed. The plants and flowers keep getting better and better all the time in The Sims, which makes me happy because <laughs> base game flowers and plants are <laughs> questionable. <laughs> there's some good ones and then there's some very horrific, awful plants, these poor plants. So I'm very happy to have these beautiful plants now. Um, from a build standpoint, I was extremely disappointed. Since this world is basically focused around the Mediterranean area, I figured they maybe would pick out some of the areas located around there and kind of bring that into the game. They really didn't. There are some windows and I think majority of the windows are basically if you want to make a church, a chapel, that kind of style, stained glass. The windows I use on the outside here though are really awesome. I will use those a lot. and. Doors? Did we get like two doors? They're okay. And one arch, which is more of a gothic style, which I'm very happy because how did we never have this? It took this long to get a pointed ogival arch. If you want to learn more about that, you can uh, check out the video on gothic and gothic revival architecture. You will probably learn a lot in that video. It's a little bit different style. It's pretty fun though. You may just learn something new. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so there's not uh, there's not a lot of build stuff, which was, yeah, very disappointing. I felt like they could have focused in on a few Flynn <laughs> feathers everywhere. <laughs> oh, I went up my nose. Flynn. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> They could have focused on a couple of cultures or countries and went with that, and I don't think they really did. So um, you, you'll see when we go on the outside later. You may recognize the um, roof that I use, and it's from Jungle Adventure. There was no new like clay terracotta roof patterns that came with this game, which is weird. There are base game ones, but eh, once again, the base game thing, eh. <laughs> I use Jungle Adventure because there's way more detail in those and yeah, I, it, it just matches much better. So I wish they would have done that. Unfortunately, they didn't. <laughs> so honestly, I probably won't really be using much stuff from this pack, which is very sad. I feel like I will use this world a lot. It is very beautiful. We will be exploring that more <laughs> in our escape series. So, I mean, that might kind of give it away that it's gonna be somewhere in the Mediterranean. I'll <laughs> let you guys think about maybe where we're gonna go. You can dream about it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna reserve your seat for the next flight, make sure you do that. <laughs> we always have a lot of fun, but yeah, we're just kind of finishing up with the floral shop now. And with this area in the Mediterranean, there is a huge abundance of fresh flowers. So I really wanted to kind of create that outdoor space with lots of flowers. I thought about kind of doing a little cart or something where you could buy flowers, but I figured that doesn't really make sense since we have the shop. I may do that in the future. I feel like that'd be really cute. But yeah, what came with the game for the floral aspect was like a 
pre-made cart where you buy your flowers. And it is really cute, but I don't know. There's always just something about the experience of going into town. And if you're prepping for your wedding, don't you wanna go with your Sims and prep with them? And you wanna go to the cake shop, the fancy cake shop, and you wanna go to the floral shop and pick out your flowers. And then you want to come to this dress shop and it is more than a dress shop. So I had like little areas set up. You'll see stuff for bride and groom and we have kids formal wear here too. So for everyone, but obviously it's very focused around the bride and lots of dresses because you know what? In real life, that's how it is. <laughs> you go into a shop, a dress shop and usually Usually it's all bridal stuff. It depends. There will be, it's either like all bridal or it's bridal and bridesmaids. And then usually the men have to go elsewhere. Some places have both. I figured for the game, why not? We're gonna include everyone. So everyone can come here, but yeah, most likely it's going to be the brides. Oh, and something I will say. So when this lot goes up on the gallery, there's gonna be two versions because I was hearing from specifically <laughs> Little Simsy that she is not able to download a lot with mannequins for some reason and it crashes her game. So I was like, oh great. <laughs> um, so yes, I don't know if that's happening with anyone else. I have not tested that out and I kind of don't want to, but there will be two versions. There will be one with mannequins, one without, because sometimes some of the fun is downloading a lot and everything's already done for you and you don't wanna have to think about the clothing or, hey, you know what? Maybe you don't want mannequins at all or maybe you wanna pick your own clothes and then you can do it how you would like. And just so you know, if you're on the gallery, on my gallery and you're wondering why there are two, that is the reason why. <laughs> Does anyone else want cake now after watching this build? <laughs> I, I'm not as much of a sweets person anymore. I was when I was younger. I'm not really anymore, but yeah, building this place and now watching the speed build again, I am like, I really want cake. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe you already sat down with tea and cake or cake and coffee and you're super happy. But now I'm like, ooh, I could go for, <laughs> go, I could go for some cake. <laughs> oh yeah, something else I included in this store that I thought was really cute. So in Debug, there is the little ring bearers like cushion and the flower pals basket. And I'm like, yes, I wanna put that in here. That's so cute. Cause hey, if you're coming to shop for everything for the wedding and clothes for everyone, I feel like that would be here. Yeah, super, super adorable. Although now I wish that I had that little cushion for my jewelry shop. That would have been super awesome. Oh yeah, that was something else. I was like, Are, is there going to be a jewelry shop in this pack because back then there was speculation we were going to get something like this and that's why I was inspired to build that and we didn't. So if you want to give your sims something else memorable to do then yeah they can go and buy a ring at the jewelry shop or you know pretend. <laughs> you can buy like jewels and polished stones and stuff there. It's more for looks. It's a lot that has a lot of stuff to do there. So yeah, you can check that out if you're interested and that's on the gallery too. So yeah, give yourself, give your Sims some fun stuff to do. And Lynn and I are going to wrap up this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Oh yeah, let me know. Are you interested in seeing this apartment furnished in the future? If not, no problem. We will move on to something else. Otherwise, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you all next week, everyone. Bye.